why are we here? Why do we gather as uh, Christian broadcasters year after year? Well, well, look, first of all, the Bible tells us to gather as a church. So <laughs> we're here first and foremost to lift one another up spiritually and to strengthen one another. But we, gra we gather as Christian broadcasters because iron sharpens iron. You know, we're here together. There's a lot going on in this world. There's a lot of changes in technology. There's changes in the culture. There's things that are going on in regulatory environments up on Capitol Hill. All of those things you're going to learn about this week. So why are you here? <laughs> no, I, I, I actually had a colleague tell me about what you had shared earlier today, and I think that's just an amazing story. I mean, Christian broadcasting is why is why you are here. It, it really is why, why I'm here. You know, uh, my grandmother um, was faithful. She got saved in the late 70s. Uh, she watched Christian television every single day that's all she watched well her family was her mission field and she knew she had a young grandson who was very interested in what, what do we call more intellectual things so she watched this minister dr d james kennedy she got his sermons i was in the navy i was out in the persian gulf i was a captive audience she sent me all of his sermons and she sent me a book called why i believe and that led me to christ so christian television is uh, a reason uh, that God used, one of the avenues God used to bring me to Christ. Wow. And how is it now at, the, at this point in the journey that you are now leading this organization <laughs> of Christian communicators? Well, that's a, that's an interesting story too. You know, God, you, we make plans. We think we're going to do things and God has a whole different plan. <laughs> I, I thought I was going to follow in my grandfather's footsteps, be a policeman and a, and a, and a farmer. And then I ended up in the Silicon Valley uh, uh, industry working for a large computer company, which then led me to actually work for Dr. D. James Kennedy to go down and be a part of his ministry. Uh, and then and then God brought me to NRB, NRB and NRB TV. All that time, I thought I wanted to be a pastor. I wanted to be this. But all that time, God was training me for what he wanted me to do at such a time as this. Troy Miller is the president and CEO of the National Religious Broadcasters Association, NRB, the National Religious Broadcasters Convention in Nashville. This is a four day event. We're actually talking on the Tuesday of the event. Actually, there were some festivities, if you will, some activities that took place on Monday, full day of activities. There was the meeting of the members earlier today. And there's there's something going on round the clock, seemingly. Yeah, at oh, least, you know, at least early in the morning to late at night at an NRB convention. Yeah, from uh, 7 a.m. to practically midnight here, you can be busy uh, doing something. So we start off in the, in the day, this rest of this week, there's a breakfast every morning and different affiliates. Uh, our Israel uh, breakfast will be on Thursday morning. And then we have workshops and sessions going on all throughout the day, plus our exhibit floor, over 39,000 square feet over 200 exhibitors uh, will be here in covering all different areas of Christian communication so it's really exciting well I know that each ministry each organization that's here has particular purposes for being here particular goals things they want to accomplish what would you say would be your expectations for the event overall? But overall, I think there's a couple of things that we like to accomplish. One, it, it, this is an event about gathering. It's about convening Christian communicators. There will be more, there will be over 4,500 people under this roof for the next four days that are dedicated to Christian communication. That's radio, television, filmmaking, publishing, authors, podcasters, bloggers, churches, you, any area of Christian communication, and they're going to be able to network with people that are like-minded. They're doing the same. So there's going to be that, as I said earlier, that iron sharpens iron kind of things going on all over the NRB convention for the next week. And then we have a number of sessions. We're going to talk about key issues that are going on in the culture, things that are uh, obstacles for the church, as well as things that are going on that can really help benefit the church and the ministries moving forward. So we really want to educate people and we want to make a lot of connections this week at the end of the week what I really hear want to hear the most from people is I am so fired up to go into the ministry that God's called me to to get back home and do whatever it is God has called me to do that's that is the most wonderful thing I could hear at the end of the week